mixed in with the red and yellowed colored leaves is yellow crime scene tape. Here along Bridgedale Avenue, a few turns off South Perkins Road, police say a teenager was shot and seriously injured overnight. It's terrible. It's sad. The world crazy. Without showing his face, the Memphis man we spoke to says you have to face problems head on in order to find a solution to the glaring issue surrounding gun violence in particular. He knows firsthand about the consequences of being found guilty of committing a crime. I don't understand. I just got out of prison. How many years? 14 years. He did not go into what landed him in lockup at the age of 16, but did say it is no place anyone would want to be. It ain't the path. Jail ain't fun. The Parkway Village shooting that shook this community happened around 6.30 Monday night. For hours, the area was saturated with detectives. Blue police lights coupled with blue latex gloves, often worn to protect evidence from becoming contaminated, was on full display. By the next day, those gloves still visible. But what's not so clear cut is how a teen became one of the city's latest victims of gun violence. Things are extremely quiet now, but that was not the case overnight when there was the sound of gunfire. Police telling us after the teen was shot, he was rushed away to the hospital in critical condition. Resulting in the teen possibly having to spend his holiday in the hospital. Reporting in Parkway Village. Make no sense. Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. Police detained someone after that shooting, but have not said if that person is being charged.